Uh, this is a quick engine run stand video. Dun, dun, dun. The, um, that's the old engine. That is the M code motor that's been built uh, in the past by a past mechanic. We're going to take it apart and go through it and confirm the sleeve, uh, that the wrist uh, pins are good. And then we're going to put her back together again. So we're going to dismantle this motor, similar to what we're doing to Oscar's uh, um, block, which is being the, the, the Hypo 289 for the uh, 67 GT350. We're going to dismantle that one. Um, Oscar's is going to go back together first. We should be getting that momentarily, Oscar, if you're watching. Um, this is the uh, built, rebuilt 351 GT um, 351 for Bob's 69 GT convertible. It's getting put on the engine stand and getting prepped to run. So I'm going to turn it around right now and show you uh, where we're at. Joe's getting the wiring done today and tomorrow. We ordered electric gauges, right, Joe? Yes, sir. And why do we want to do electric gauges on engine just run stand? Easier connect, disconnect. It just less less. The manual gauges have little tubes in them that that they break, and then there's stuff inside. And once they're broken, they're junk. Right. So, so we're going with electric gauges, and we're sort of switching them out. And uh, he's now connecting the 351 to the uh, engine run stand. It's going to be a first, guys. Um, I'm hoping, I'm going to just keep it open. It's going to happen this week that we'll be running this motor. We've got a lot of pre uh, wiring prep to do right now, but she's getting ready to run. And we'll get that confirmed and start to get that back into your GT350. Uh, GT I got Shelby on the mind. On your GT convertible, your 69 GT convertible, Bob. I'll be driving her around and test driving her. And Tom, and I, can you tell I'm putting a lot into one video? I had a lot going on with main key art and stuff today, and a lot of stuff with kind of production for television. So it's kind of pushed me uh, into a smaller amount of videos today, guys. I apologize. But we're going to be taking Tim's uh, Mach 1, 73 Mach, Mach 1, and be test driving that tomorrow. He's putting all the wiring back. We're testing that line. And we're also ordered a 7-pin and an 8-pin. Um, what are they? Ignition switch? Yeah. Ignition switch. Tim, which we're going to add to yours, and we're going to get that out there and uh, test the ignition switch because we tested everything else. So I want to drive her before we do the ignition switch to see if the if the tank simply needs to breathe. I don't think that's the situation, though. It seems like it's going to ultimately end up as the engine switch, although we did need to change out the Protronics. It was worn. Here we go. This is a video actually on an engine stand. And it became an update video tonight, guys. So I don't know what to title it. Oh, I'll title it. Here's an engine stand video with a lot of really cool motors and a lot of cool stuff happening. Right, Bobby? Yeah. Mustang Medic! Thanks, baby.